This will certainly be a splendid trip, won't it? To meet new people will definitely be a thrilling experience like every road trip we take. As if we don't know that already. You always say that when we go around the country, Freddy. He's just excited, Roxy. It's fun meeting new people every now and then. I am not complaining about meeting new people, Chica. Far from it. I am just bothered that he says that exact line every time we go on a tour. Oh, well, I'm terribly sorry if I'm bothering you, Roxanne. I just can't help it. I love looking forward to who I'm going to meet next. Are we there yet? Not quite. We still have another hour before we arrive. In the meantime, just relax or play a game. Like what? Oh, oh! How about a game of I Spy? No way! You got motion sickness that last time we played that. Oh, right. <clears throat> Forgot about that. What about chess? You like chess? Chess? Finding lost golf balls in a lake is more fun than that game. Eh, true, true. What about my glitter glue? For the last time, we don't want to play with your glitter glue. What do we look like, children? Actually, glitter glue does sound like a good idea to pass the time. Plus, you can get very artistic when using it. Well, if you guys are going to play with that stuff, leave me out of it. I would hate it to get it all over me. I got fans to please. <laughs> Watch the road, Freddy! <coughs> I can't! The bus is losing control! <laughs> oh no, we're all gonna die! But I'm too beautiful to die! Freddy, stop the bus! Put the brakes on! I'm trying, but nothing is working! Quickly, pray for impact! <sighs> There's nothing better than having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch with a tall glass of milk. Well, bon appetit! Whoa! Whoa! What the heck was that? It sounded like it came from outside. Let me go have a look. Hmm. <gasps> oh my gosh, Chica! A bus crashed outside our pizzeria! What? Oh my goodness! Do you think the people inside there are dead? Well, if they're alive, then they might need our help! Let's go! Okay! Oh. <sighs> Ow! Careful, Monty! Sorry, I'm just very dazed and... <gasps> Freddy! Come on, wake up, man. Stay with me, Freddy. Oh, my head is spinning. Is everyone okay? I think so, right? I got you, Chica. Yes, just a couple of scrapes. <sighs> That was totally rock and roll! Let's do it again! No! no! Oh, for the love of Fazbear. <sighs> Anyways, I wonder if the bus is okay. Roxanne, would you care to check out the state of the vehicle with me? Fine. The sooner we do this, the sooner we can leave. Oh my god! This does not look good! So, um, what's the damage report? Well, first of all, the front of the bus looks like the aftermath of the NASCAR spin-out. And from what I can tell, you're losing control of the bus, which all caused none other than a tire blowout. <gasps> so that explains why the brakes were not doing much of anything. Oh dear, I knew I was forgetting something in the morning. What? How did you forget it, Freddy? It was very early in the morning for me. I stepped out to pump some gas in the bus, and I guess the thing with the tires slipped off my mind. I'm really sorry, Roxanne, but is there a way you can fix this? I know I am a mechanic, Freddy, but I can't just pop materials and spare parts out of nowhere. I don't have the parts necessary to fix the bus. Ugh, Vanessa is going to be so mad at us. I wouldn't worry too much. I'm sure she will understand, but regardless... There's no way we're going to make it to Tucson on time. Um, hello there. Whoa! Huh. Sir, please don't do that. I get startled easily. Oh, I apologize for that, sir. I heard a huge crash outside. I wanted to see if it was a... Say, you look almost exactly like me. And you look almost like me as well. Is your name Freddy Fazbear? How did you know? Wait a minute, I recognize... 
recognize these guys? I heard of their YouTube and such. Chica, what are you talking about? Freddy, meet the Glare Rock animatronics. What? Nobody ever told me there was a band that was almost exactly like us. And most importantly, how'd you all end up here? Well, it's a funny story. We happened to be making our way to our tour area we planned to be at. But, uh, we accidentally crashed our ride in the process. My goodness! Are you guys alright? We've been through worse. Hey, Freddy, what's the holdup? No way! Montgomery Gamer and Clamrock Chica! Um, and you are? Chica the Chicken, and one of your biggest fans. And I'm Freddy Fazbear. I've just got to meet your leader. Aww, it's always so nice to meet new fans like you, but we're a bit in a pickle, and we need to leave ASAP. Freddy, what's the damage? We have some bad news, gang. The bus suffered major damage to the front and engine due to a tire blowout, and we don't have the parts needed to fix it, so I'm afraid we won't make it to our next tour. What? I'm sorry, but unless we can fix the bus in time, there's nothing we can do. Now, wait a minute, Glamrox. I think we could be an assistance. An assistance? What could you strangers possibly do? We have some spare Vyoka parts lying around behind the pizzeria, and we do know somebody who can let a hand on this accident. He fixed cars and trucks before. Has he ever fixed buses? Does it matter? Aren't vehicles vehicles? How about I go get him and see what we can go from here? Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll stay with the other Glamrox. I have a lot of questions to ask. So, what are they, Freddy? I'm not sure how to put it, but I'll introduce them to you. Glamrocks, I would like you to meet Springtrap. The Glamrocks? You mean they got sent out and were approved? Huh? You heard of them? Of course! I may not work for Fazbear Entertainment anymore, but I still have access to documents or information about the company. I essentially monitor how the system flows. Oh, that makes sense. Well, anyways, it's nice to see you made through the testing phase, Glamrocks. Have you been catching Fed's attention everywhere? Oh, yes. It's quite the thrill traveling around the country. As well as meeting new faces. And rocking and rolling in front of hundreds of people. And also signing autographs. Everybody loves us, especially me. Sure. Anywho. Your friend Freddy told us that you had the necessary parts needed and that you specialize in cars and such. Uh, well, I specialize in trucks and, and cars, though not buses. However, I'm still willing to help out. I just need to see the damage. Hmm. The only major damage I see is the front, which will require a lot of replacing. The windshield needs to be replaced, the grill and bumper needs to be replaced, and the engine definitely needs to be checked out. Well, we know what the damage is. Can you fix it, though? It will take a lot of time and effort, but I'm willing to help out, even if I'm a bit rusty. Thank you, Springtrap. No problem. You Glamrocks can rest inside the pizzeria for the time being. Monty and Chica can chill inside. I'll be out here giving you assistance. Same here. Hey, Glamrock me! Would you like me to cook you some pizza while you settle? Absolutely! I love pizza! Yeah, I'm starving after almost dying. Hey, wait! Hold on! Wait for me! Here you go, guys! A freshly baked Freddy Fazbear's pizza... Uh, pizza! Thank you, Chica. It smells delicious! Mm, this is really good. Thanks! We're well known for our pizzas, just as much as we're well known. That's nice, though. I wanted to ask, how did you stumble across our band? Oh, I was browsing YouTube the other day to watch some random videos until an ad popped up before the video started. I was gonna skip it since YouTube ads are really annoying, but once the, that music started pumping, I was bouncing in my chair, and since then, I became a fan. Yeah, you guys really know how to make music sound so engaged and addictive to listen to. How do you do it? We're rock stars! It's in our system, in the mind, and in the heart. Even though we don't have one, what kind of music do you guys do? Me and my friends mostly focus on classic music when on stage. Though I do play rock music from time to time. It's one of my favorite genres. I love rocking on the, on the stage, jamming out with my guitar, and the kids love it too. 
<laughs> you sure remind us of our body. He loved to rock and roll. What? There was a Glamrock version of me? Did something happen to him? Um, we don't like talking about that subject. It's kind of sensitive, especially to our Freddy. Oh, sorry. I mean, if it's that serious of a topic, then let's drop it. I don't want to darken the mood, especially when you guys have a tour to attend to in a bit. Is the new tire installed, Roxanne? Yes. I just finished tightening it. You can go back up further now. Spirit Truck, are you sure you'll be able to pull this double-decker bus out of, out of the pole? Yeah, and my truck is pretty strong too, so it, it has to work. Okay, Spree Trap, you hitch up. Now don't pull out too fast. You could snap the tow cable. Keep going. Careful. Keep going. Stop! It worked! Alright, we did it! Now we can get the repair started and... We should be good. We can also get a better view of the damage since the pull kind of obstructed some of it. Um, spray trap, Roxanne, you might want to take a look at this. What is it, Freddy? We already know what the damage is. What's this point uh, in speculation when the speculation is already done? Yeah, this repair is going to take longer than expected, isn't it? <sighs> I'm afraid so. What's the problem, fellas? Don't mind, Freddy, I hate to say this, but your bus is in much worse shape than I imagined. The engine is completely told, and we don't have any replacements. Oh my god! What? Roxanne, I thought you thoroughly inspected the front of the bus! How the heck can I do my speculations properly with this stupid pole in the way? I don't know! You're the mechanic of the group! You know this stuff more than I do! Oh really, huh? I'm the mechanic! I know everything! Miss Roxanne Wolf, the car specialist! Hey guys, let's expect Roxanne to know everything about the bus that isn't her job to maintain! All I wanted was to go to our usual tour, maintain our fans, have fun, and go home! I don't need to spend my time I could be using on stage for a bus that you crashed! Ow! 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 That was a mistake! Ugh. Roxy! What happened out here? We just recently found out that the bus is in much worse shape than we thought. I'm sorry guys, but you won't be able to make it to your next tour. Are you flipping kidding me? I'm terribly sorry, Glamrocks. We did all we could. <sighs> Never mind, Freddy. You did your best, and that's what counts, but... <sighs> I'm gonna have to call Vanessa and tell her we won't make it. Who's Vanessa? She's the manager of the band. She doesn't normally travel with us. Um, hello? Vanessa? Freddy, where on earth are you and your friends? Do you have any idea how far behind schedule you are? Um, we're at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Our bus blew out a tire and crashed into a pole. The owners of the pizzeria came out to lend a hand, but we realized the bus is in worse shape than it is. What? And you didn't inform me sooner? I'm terribly sorry, Vanessa. We thought we would be able to get back on the road on time. <sighs> Freddy, you should always give a person an update when you're on your way to a destination they'll be at. I'll inform the fans about this, and I assure you, they're gonna be pretty disappointed. See you soon. Oh man, this is such a shame. I feel like I let you guys down, and I'm sorry, Freddy and Springtrap, for wasting your time. Don't be. None of this is your fault. Yeah, you did all you could to prevent the crash. And I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. I really don't know what came over me. For the time being, you and the others can spend the night here until your bus is fully fixed. I should have it ready by tomorrow. That's good, though. I still feel bad for our fans. I wish there was a way we could keep the show going. Hmm. Say, maybe there's a way you could still do your show. Huh? What is it, Freddy? If you can't do your show there, then why not have it here? Really? You mean, have the fans show up here instead of the original location? 
Yeah, me and my friends can take the day off tomorrow, and we'll give you the whole day to rock out with our fans. And yours, of course. That's a great idea! Why didn't we think of that sooner? Thank you, Freddy. You truly are a superstar. Aw, oh, thanks. You're too much. <laughs> You know, for an establishment that's existed since the earlier mid-90s, this place doesn't look too bad. Well, this may not be the highest quality pizzeria, but it's certainly where the magic happens. High quality or not, it'll do. You Glamrocks ready? Indeed, Oh yes! sure. Give the kids a show they'll never forget. We will. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment and Freddy Fazbear's Pizza would like to put your hands together for the one, and not only, Freddy Fazbear! I gotta say, you guys killed it! Yeah! Even when behind the storage room door, I still can't help but dance! Thank you. If it wasn't for all of you, our show wouldn't even happen. But as of now, it's time for us to go. Yeah, we got other places we need to attend to. Which is why I'll be driving from now on. Thanks a lot, Fazbears. Catch you later, dears. Stay pretty! Bye bye for now! By the way, Freddy, before we go, Promise you'll visit one of our tours when it's in your area. Sure! You just gotta let me know what time and day. Will do. I'll make sure to have Vanessa contact Springtrap when that happens. And I'll be sure to bring my friends. See ya! So long! Come back soon! <laughs> <laughs>